Loosen up, you prom nuts. What do you pork knuckers take Greg the Forno to the ceiling of a girl's bathroom and I want him taken down in five minutes or I'm going to lock every single one of you in this gymnasium and I'm going to toss a dirty bomb through the window. Coach, Coach Hines? Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeepers. For the love of a goat nut. Hey, yo, Coach, what are you doing here? I work here. I'm working. What does it look like, your moronic squat job? Huh? Is this your after-school job? What if it is, Yamanashi? What if it is, Yamanashi? What if it is my after-school job? What if coaching you dumb pug muckers doesn't pay all my expenses, huh? What then, Chief? Huh? What then? <laughs> expenses? What expenses? You wear the same outfit every day. <laughs> yeah, all right, huh? Yeah. All right, all right. Well, I got expenses to Shazer. I'm gonna have to hire somebody to mop up your remains after I rip out your sigmoid colon and turn it into a rectal smoothie. How about that? How about that, to Shazer? What in the name of Sally Jesse Raphael just happened out there? I don't think they were fooled, Coach. You know what you think, Yamanashi? Maybe that was because you decided to take a standing siesta in open territory while the enemy was taking pot shots at your sweet and sours. Sorry. When I heard the gunfire, I just froze. Oh, you did? Plus, I think I pooped a little bit. It wasn't me, Coach. I would never. Oh, gee, really? Oh, really, Yamanashi? Really? It wasn't you? You didn't do it? I never would have thought it wasn't you, Yamanashi, because of your potato dumpling drunk Buddha body. <laughs> Thanks for the update, Yamanashi. Nobody thought it was you in the first place. If you didn't want so much attention, you wouldn't waste all my time, Yamanashi. I'm already sick of it. Cause I'm sick of it. What are you doing? You know what? Who put that there? Who put that there? Who moved that? Any one of you moved that? Every one of you. You're getting a harpoon through your ocular cavity. Every one of you. Cause you think it's funny? I will slam, I will, mm. give me this, the shazer, I have had it with you. If you don't put your tongue back in your mouth, I, I'm going to, uh, whoa. If you don't put, you, the shazer, I'm going to take you and like that, okay? That's a sword. That's a thice, like that. And that's you, huh? What's up, six iron? That's an eagle, okay? And I'm gonna take your body and slice it. Juicer. And then a little bit of this on your gravestone. I've had it, DeShazer. I'm not even gonna talk to you anymore. I have had it with you. Namanashi, I dream of the day when medical science will allow me to be shrunk to a microscopic size and injected into your spinal fluid. Once there, I will travel in a miniature sub through your body and into your brain meat, okay? Then I will take a pill that will allow me to grow back to normal size, exploding your skull bone and rendering your body into a pink mist. I will stab you in the neck with a pencil. Now, any questions? Yamanashi, what? Um, do you support the student council's decision to take fish sticks off the Friday menu? What? <laughs> I'm not going to answer that, Yamanashi. Well, well, why, well, why not? Why not? Why? <laughs> why not? A, okay, yeah. A, it's not a football question. And secondly, I don't give an aardvark's anus when your butt moles stick down your tongue tunnels at Friday lunch. Okay, I just need a quote for the newspaper, so... Yeah, a quote that... for the newspaper? How about a headline? Yamanashi found dead, hung by his raisins from the gym rafters. How about that? Huh? I'm sick of you, Yamanashi. You're gonna get a pencil in the neck. <laughs> now, I don't want to be here any more than any of you do. Last night, I get a phone call from the principal. And he tells me I gotta come down here today and explain to you guys the consequences of sticking your dingles into a woman's ladyberry. <laughs> Why? Because 22 young Catholic high school girls from Our Lady of Incorruptible Hearts made a pact that they're all gonna get pregnant by the time they graduate. <laughs> what is it, Yamanashi? 
Can I get the phone numbers of those Catholic ladyberries? <laughs> do with you, okay? I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna stick your neck through the slats of that chair over there and then twist your head until it pops off like a little vegetarian Chinese dumpling. Coach. Yeah? I can't make the pee come out. Son of a mother's lover. Okay, listen. <laughs> you tell it to the nurse squat job. Now you're gonna get in there right now and you're gonna fill this cup up with your pee or I swear to God in heaven, I'm gonna stick a fire hose inside of you and you're gonna have pee coming out of holes you didn't know you had. I think I'm starting to pee now. Okay. <laughs> now you guys in this room have any freaking idea at all what stacking can do to your body. Look at that, that's, that's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right there. <laughs> What are you laughing at, Damanashi? I am sick of it. I'm gonna put a whole Diction Ticonderoga factory in your neck. <laughs> now listen up, everybody. Listen up or I'm cutting your ears off with shears. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Hanley? I swear, this chalk's going up your nose and out your finger, and that's impossible! <laughs> now back to my science lesson. You start taking steroids, this is what's gonna go down. Your face is gonna turn to the hip skid if you did it did the, the pizza factory. Your back's gonna look like the Urals, the Himalayas, the Alps, and the Rockies are making love. Then in the front here where your bee bites are, you're gonna get some big, supple, delicious Jennifer Love Hewitt's going. And I mean supple, like, you know, lotions in there, and they're beautiful, like this. And they wouldn't be lopsided like I made them here. They'd be perfect. They'd be perky like this. Like, you know, just little dimples on there. comes down here to the waistband, you start getting the flabsters around here. Then it goes down to your cobblers around here, okay? All right? And then what happens is it inverts itself until it turns into your very own Lady Smith Black Mombazo. Does anybody at all have a football question? Yes, the Prince. Yes, I do. Well, as the co-captain of the cheerleading squad, I was just curious what you thought of our new defensive chur. Okay. Well, the Prince, I'm sorry to admit that I missed all of your uh, bespangled leapery and your splits and your whatnot. Okay? Seeing as you're a boy cheerleader and I don't usually um, pay attention to things that I don't understand. Okay? That's okay. I'll show you right now. Don't do it, the Prince. Hey, okay. Hey. Ho, ho. Let's rock it some more. We got the rocket till we pop it, then we rock it some more. Yes, go Cavalier. The Prince, if I saw myself doing that in the mirror, I would charter a jet to fly me over an active volcano and then I would dive into the molten magma. Okay? Anybody else? Oh, thank you very much. If you two portacles even get near that thought, I will kill you. And I won't be creative about it. I'm just gonna take you out in broad daylight, shoot you in the back of the head and pay the consequences. Uh -huh. Yamanashi? Yamanashi? Don't you dare put that tip in there. Do it, Yamanashi. Don't do it, Yamanashi. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, Yamanashi. I swear, don't put it in there, do it, Yamanashi. Don't, don't put it. No, stop. Yamanashi, just stop it. Yamanashi, do it. Yamanashi, don't do it. Don't you do it. Do it, Yamanashi. If you stop. Oh, oh, you want to hear the shader? Oh, well, there's a tip. Another uh -huh. song for me, huh? Yeah. Okay, the shader. Let's sing another song. Jeff the Shazer and Yamanashi wanted ice cream. They said I gave them chocolate, but for the sprinkles, I used laxatives instead. <laughs> How about that? 
Oh! Yeah, there you go. Fast acting on you, baby. Fast acting. Oh, wait, let's go. Big finish your ice cream. Here.